I don't master started back in the early 2000s. It was around like 2001 or so, or so that um, Akira Ishida had this idea of making an arcade game where like you could save data onto like a magnetic strip of uh, a card or something like that, and so they could get, get players to keep coming back and playing the same arcade game multiple times and have more replay value and stuff like that, and you know have it so you're raising a single girl and stuff like that, and act like you're an actual producer. Um, it also took a lot of inspiration from like New Japan Pro Wrestling at the time as well. Um, I'm not sure how exactly, but you know. <laughs> it will be you knew. Um, it was, um, so it started with the, uh, the idea of just an arcade cabinet game and then, you know, spun off into more things like an anime, which is on Crunchyroll and is very good. And I think it's like a really good introduction point. Yep. <sighs> All right. so. The basics of Idol Master is you, not as hopeless as you thought you are, uh, were employed by the Namco production as a producer. 765 is written as Namco, not for 7, 6 for uh, Mo, and 5 for Go. Go. So, Namco yeah. producer. Do you have the photo of Save I sent you? The timeline photo? Um, did I? Possibly, yes. Hang on. Here, we have, a, we, have a time, we have a timeline photo that should help uh, explain yep. where, how Idol Master works. Hopefully, we do. How's everyone's bank has been? Woo! Nice. Yeah. Who's I'm your never... favorite idol, Hazu? Who? Who's your favorite idol? You are Randall. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, is it not working? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. The moment the moment Let's just go back to the presentation. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right. So your role as a producer is to provide guidance to idols and um, something along that line. So you schedule idols to do things like go to uh, their practice, dance session, um, zinging lesson, uh, dance lesson events like handshake events, uh, live, mini live, those kind of things. And then eventually um, the game has somewhat um, evolved from a um, racing simulator into more of a, um, a rhythm game. Mm. The popularity started back with, um, I would say, when um, like Konami what? started doing uh, 2DX and starting at their own series like the um, Happy Sky, Red Happy Sky, uh, Distorted. The rhythm game has become somewhat a bigger scene. So mainly because of like Love Lives going on. Love Life too was going on as well. So you know what? Um, Namco decided that they are going to go, yeah, let's do a rhythm game. But yep, here's the, the OG. The OG is this one. That's the original Idol Master Arcade, which came out in 2005. Um, it's pretty much like you select one idol of the multiple ones there. I think it's Haruka, Chihaya, Makoto, Yayoi, Azusa, Ami, Mami, Futami. Did I forget someone? Oh, Yukiho. Did I say Yukiho? Yukiho. No. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, well, everyone forgets Yukiho. So. Wow! <laughs> She's not good, okay? You secondary. You didn't see her original voice actor, you secondary. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> All right. Um, it's, really, it's really crude, honestly, the, um, the original arcade game. It's um, kind of us. It's very basic. I mean, it's a game that came out in 2005 also, but like, it, it's very robust also at the same time. Like, I mean, they put a lot of care into like what they did with the technology at the time, making like the idols as moe as possible. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's such, it's so weird to like play it now. Cause it's in, in Tokyo in Akihabara, uh, there's an arcade called Hey on the top floor. They actually have the original Idol Master arcade machine. You can play it for like 500 yen. So I tried it and like, yeah, it's like, it's so weird looking at something that's like, so removed from what Idol Master has become now, and it's just weird seeing that this was the origins of it. Is like this like really tame uh, game that's just uh, about like raising a girl and stuff like that, making sure she's like the best. And now it's just you know complete idol hell, pretty much. <laughs> did I send it to you? Or? I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, no, this one. Uh, is it go? It might be over Twitter, and not line. No, I, I sent you online. Online. Let's see. Let's go. No, let's see. Uh, up there. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. All right. I have it on my computer, so I'm using it. All right. <laughs> 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 
that's me. Um, so this is the Atom Master, the Xbox 360 no scope. Uh, back in 2005, it was a port of the arcade game. Also, we think it was. And yes, I almost dropped $400 on Japanese Xbox 360 and the game itself over at Play uh, Asia. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Good. Play the sense. So, who here reads Berserk? <laughs> Alright, this is the reason why Berserk's never gonna end. <laughs> Because every single time one of these games comes out, Kentaro Miro just has to disappear for a year just to play it. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a port of it. It adds uh, it adds Miki. Uh, does it? It doesn't add. It adds Ritsuko also, doesn't it? Or uh, no, she no, was in the original. She was in, okay. So yeah, but it adds, it adds Miki. It's like improved a little bit, but it's still like pretty much just the same as the uh, arcade game. Yep. Now. I'm gonna get the weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is where they introduce best girl. I forgot life for you. This is Takane. Koda was already in the <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. Koda's good. But I love my moon princess. Um, this is the P This is the third. The sec sorry. The second port of the original arcade game for the uh, PSP. Um, this is the one also that adds um, a rival uh, idol faction, 961. Um, that's. Takane, it's Takane and, uh, is Miki part of 961, or? She was part of, okay, yeah, that's right. she, it's Takane, it's Takane and Hibiki that are part of, the, like, the, the Project evil, Project. yeah, the evil faction that's run by, uh, Dio Brando, pretty much. <laughs> um, and it's also the one where it adds, like, an office mode where you can just, like, chill in your office and, like, talk to the, talk to the girls and stuff like that, and, you know. Kind of like a petting, like, petting simulator, pretty much. <laughs> this is true. That's what it is. Don't tell Nintendo. Yeah. Oh. All right, rest in peace. <laughs> Everyone, get a round of applause for Ryu Akizuki. <laughs> what a god! He does his best. What a god! What a Chad! Oh, yeah. honestly. <laughs> so this is where the design of characters uh, shift over from the first generation to the second vision. This they call it the second vision. Essentially, the redrawn of characters, uh, new design, new costumes, something along that line. But yeah, it, um, the, I mean, it's interesting also because this is like the one where you actually don't play as a producer. I think it's the only, it's an Idol Master game where you don't actually, I think. That is correct. Um, you actually play as the three idols um, who are uh, Ryo and the other two who died on the way back to the room. Wow. I should forget that's why. Um, but uh, you go through each of their stories uh, playing as them, as the idols and stuff like that. And I, this one has rhythm elements, doesn't it? It was very light. Right. Yeah, it, but it's like one of the first ones that starts introducing more like rhythm elements and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, eventually they uh, just took Rio from this and put him in Idol Master Side M. Yep, Rio has a pretty interesting story. Rio has a very rocky story. Is the best way to put it. He does his best. Okay. Uh, Why what's on this? Smoky Oh shit! Do you not have one here? I I don't have one. I don't have mine either. Have what? Smoky Thrill. Hang on. We, we can do this. Just keep. Just. All right. Now, the Atom Master, uh, Atom Master 2 2011 Xbox 360, it is the big one. Essentially, the anime was loosely adapted based on stories. And it is extremely unforgiving. You do get a bad end for this one. If you don't. Yes. Is there any of the Idol Master games for Xbox One? No. no. Nope. Is it in development? Unfortunately, I don't believe so. Uh, Bandai Namco has been shifting away from uh, Xbox, uh, from developing with Microsoft ever since uh, Tales of Vesperia. I think the original is the only one, well, I don't know what this one's on 360 also, so these are the only two, I think. But um, this is also the one that adds boys, it adds uh, Jupiter oh, yes, to Jupiter. the mix, who are like, serve as a rival faction, and also, like, Rio and Dealer Stars got eventually integrated into Idol Master Side. Um, but I mean, like, this is probably like, if you're wanting to play the games, this is probably like a really good introduction. Honestly, like, I mean, it has pretty much all the core elements of what makes Idol Master Idol Master. And um, I, I mean, also, yeah, there's the anime adaptation that adapts this game. Also, it includes uh, Smoky Thrill, which is like the biggest bop in existence. <laughs> yeah. um, let's see if we can make this yeah. work. It's used to my fight for the audio. Mm -hmm. He needs to take oh, a yeah. Work. Come on. There we go. Wow. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it.
There we go. Cool. Hey. Let's see. We're gonna find a body that works also. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation. Wow. Yeah, this works. Is it really? Yeah. It's going to the projector? I didn't make sense of my passion. Uh, whatever, like I said, it works. But Iori's old hair was way better. <laughs> it was way better. Question. What's your question? Questions. Um, what happens within the game's story to have them create one subunit but then no other subunits? Money. <laughs> Money, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, the question was uh, what happened to just one oh, wait, subunit? Wait, wait, um, one can you repeat the question actually? Yeah, so, so in the game they create Rungu Kobachi, but no other girls get put into any other groups. And that just seemed kind of weird to me. So, is there a reason within like the plot of the story that that they get formed and no one else is in the unit, or is it just like it happened? It's because Ritsuko Ryots, Ryots bit off more than she could chew. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it something with the voice actors? They couldn't record as much. Well, that too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There was some of the voice actors for a couple of the characters like weren't around as much. I think one of them had a baby and another one was busy. Yeah. That's so they were like, oh, it's just. It's just Nigo needs to sleep. <laughs> yes. Um, what was the what, what was the YTP and you played before the panel started? <laughs> I'll show you later after the panel's over. <laughs> but uh, also there was a heavy backlash with um, the release of Iron Master 2011 uh, two, uh, mainly because of Jupiter, because uh, the game was designed for like male audiences at uh, heavy. So male otaku are like, you why are these boys in here? Yep. They changed a lot of hair. And it Bad. And uh, Ritsuko, the voice, her voice actress, um, Kami, uh, known as Kami because she is the god. She does the auto design. She, pretty much her life is Idol Master, and she was so sad about it because the fans were not as well received as uh, she expected them to be. Because Jupiter, like, oh, male idols. Now what else? What else are we gonna have? Yeah. So moving okay, on. Moving on. Shiny Festa. Oh boy. <laughs> this. Horrible <laughs> mistake. <laughs> so, 
This was Idolmatch's first rhythm game, and boy was it a terrible one. It was, so it came out as three different games, um, Honey, Honey Sound, Funky Note, and Groovy Tune, and each, all three versions of the game had different girls for each one. You couldn't just buy one game and have all the girls, you had to buy each of the division different games, and they also were all full MSRP games. Weren't they $40? Uh, it was like 40 bucks, yeah. Yeah, it was 40 bucks each on iOS, mm. on yeah. iTunes Store. And it had like, what, three songs per game or something yeah, like that? Yeah, three or four songs. So, and didn't after I was updated, you were able to yeah, yeah, that's how bad it went. So, this was Bamco's like, first mangled attempt at like, bringing Idolmaster to America. They just they just put it on the iOS on the Apple and iOS store without telling anyone, and of course no one bought it because it's a rhythm game with four songs for forty bucks for three different versions. So Bamco just went well. I guess America doesn't want Idol Master. Bye. So it's it, it's a, it's embar it's just embarrassing. You can get like it for like way more down now. Um, yeah. It looks pretty, but sort of. Uh, for a PSP game, yeah. Didn't this one had a animated MVs also, didn't it? Uh, yeah, but PSP resolution. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wasn't like the localization eight. was also like really terrible, wasn't it? Hmm? Like the localization itself was also like. Oh yeah, it had like a bunch of like typos and stuff like that. It was like they just threw it in Google Translate, yeah. just threw it on the store. It's yeah. All right, moving on to Idol Master One for All. Oh, I love All Might. <laughs> <laughs> you had to make that joke. <laughs> No, it is the actually it is the All Might of Idol Master. It actually <laughs> revitalizes the game itself. Uh, proper PS3 games. The game is not is um, a little more forgiving when it comes to rhythm game elements. Um, you there is repeatables. Pretty much they are settling down on a formula of uh, idols so you can reproduce uh, produce over. I was going to use reproduce, but that's <laughs> extremely wrong. Well, I don't know about that one. That you can produce over and over again um, and until you get the perfect idol. That I'm still working through it. It's a lot of work. Um, I saw the beginning of Idol Hoss Armor Hell. There are 14 different catalogs. Each catalog essentially is uh, DLCs. Each uh, has like different songs, characters, dresses. Each around 10 to 15 dollars per item. In total, you would be expected to pay 60 bucks for the game plus 450 dollars worth of DLCs. Nice. Not including uh, in-game currency, or not including the currency you earn, like coins, that you can actually um, earn from playing lives. But uh, it is the beginning of the branching, of the um, integration of the um, other uh, franchises of Idol Master. The twins, the twin-offs like Midnight Life and Cinderella Girls, actually get DLCs for these, um, like the uh, the three uh, new generations trio were introduced. Kaede was introduced. Best girl. Yeah. And a million live were also introduced into this game, uh, along with many other songs that were get that get integrated. Do we have a, do we have a video for it? Right? Do we? No, we could have a stars. My pet oh, my oh, cool. video. <laughs> but um I would recommend buying this if you have a PS3. Uh, I would say skip Idol Master 2 unless you are a purist and really want to suffer. By all means. Mm -hmm. I just said earlier, just watching anime. Oh, watch the anime, yes. Yeah. Now, Platinum Stars, it was announced, um, I believe back in 2000, like early- or something like that? 15, no, 15. Oh, okay. It was a part of the 10th anniversary of Idol Master, uh, the first game for the current console generation, uh, for now, as of 2019, uh, because PS4 was still around. And the first console to be released outside of Japan, sort of. Uh, we have yes. that, we have released in uh, Hong Kong, it's in China as, as well. Yeah. Uh, Path of the anniversary. It's a melding of idol racing and uh, rhythm game features. Although Platinum Stars didn't get that far yet, it, I myself, I consider it to be an unfinished game. It's very much like, it feels like the platonic ideal of what Idol Master games should be, but it's just like there's yeah. not enough there because BAM goes like, we can just put everything on DLC. So it is a rhythm game. It really is a rhythm game for PS4. Uh, it has a horrible RNG, as in you have to play it live over and over and over and over and over again until you get a costume. Yeah, it's terrible. And you have to meet a certain score to get the costume that you want. And if you don't get that far, then you just have to chance with RNG. Yeah, I hope you like Ready because you're going to hear Ready a lot when playing this game. There are six DLCs in total. It's Actually, not as bad as uh, Idolmaster uh, One for All and Idolmaster Two. 
I do have a gameplay for this. Just oh gee, I wonder which uh, song you picked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, probably like basic gameplay. Let's see if we have it. Oh, hang on. Let me fix that real quick. And audio. Thank you. We get testing audio. I don't want to blow anyone's ears off. One moment. Okay, good. And this is on the projector. Get back. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. Then just switch over from here to. Got it. Computers are great. <laughs> they always work, all the time. <laughs> no, we're good. Uh -oh. Yay. Thank you for breaking you always. I saw you. I love these girls so much. Thank you for using me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's, I consider it to be uh, the beta version of Platinum Stars, even though it is a full game release. I actually bought two copies of it, the, um, the digital copy over PSN and the physical copy, limited edition, of course, because extra. So what's the 1.0 Platinum Stars then? And 1.0 Platinum Star is this Stellar Stage. Uh, was released uh, 18 months after Platinum Stars. Uh, it is a complete retcon of Platinum Stars. So the story behind Platinum Stars is that you are the producer and you take your idols to a yes. training camp. <laughs> and um, all that happens. So this one time at idol camp. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much that's that. Yeah. But um, they changed the formula, so costumes are now cosmetic, as it should have been. Uh, so instead, you get um, producer points, no, it's uh, CP, uh, it's um, character points that you save up to unlock uh, certain abilities, like more chances at more um, stats, more um, burst, something along that line. 
but it is what Platinum Stars was really meant to be, but without all the time constraints. Like you have to meet a certain timeline to get certain costumes, otherwise you have to wait a whole 52 weeks. Essentially, every life is one week, and you pretty much replay the game over and over again until you unlock all the lives. Thankfully, um, people that bought Idol Master Platinum Stars uh, with other DLCs uh, can use the same DLC for Stellar Siege, and I do have the gameplay for that because I actually own the game, again, two copies, because why the hell not? <laughs> and also, it helps when I uh, travel with um, friends with PS4. It's like, yeah, log into my account and download the game, and then have them play it. <coughs> Cause gotta spread the good word. All right. Um. So we'll start with the basic gameplay first. So this is the way they changed it. Hang on. I think I fix it real quick before. No idea why. Okay. Connie, everybody. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is the um, pretty much the uh, the spear grid. I mean, yeah, the yeah the spear grid for Idol Master. Is this Mario Party? It's Mario Party. Sick, dude. That's costumes. Yep. Yeah. The girls. Yeah. Sorry, Dylan. No, you're good. Mickey's best girl. Shout out to Mickey. Hey, that was funny. Now, it's just lives that you can pick. Uh, there are different lives. Each of them could be um, based on, usually it's based on the sponsors. Also, each live rewards different, pers uh, different uh, dresses or parts or costumes. So sometimes it's just bonus money or uh, character points that you can save up to unlock more abilities. So that's pretty much a repeat of um, and also unlock costumes. A costume from Platinum Stars can be unlocked this way as well. It's a lot more forgiving than Platinum Stars. So I'm doing the, uh, I believe I did the, uh, yeah, the like, TV line. Oh, there we go. All 13 girls. Because why not? How come you don't have the loading song? What happened to that? Boy, I love loading screens. I, what about the song? They had the song, they got rid of it. What's up with that? Uh, don't ignore me. Sure yeah. Masterpiece, yes. This is also a DLC dress. Yes, it costs $15, but I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Idols are canceled. <laughs> 
ultimately. So you can make, so you can make songs in between acts. Yeah, there is a limited selection for medley, but it's there. That's pretty cool. Isn't that good beans, Brown? I love you guys so much. next Adam Master game is as far as console games goes, but Scamco has a better idea. How about we throw it into mobile? Yeah! Bloody yeah! 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 your debt, rise up! Oh. <laughs> Alright, 
All right. Time to go to hell. One second. I'm an idiot and I uh, made a mistake. I was very drunk when I made this panel. Oh, I, don't know. I was talking about just Cinderella Girls in general. It wasn't Tony Harvey, that's all. Don't press you have the knowledge on your head. That's the Starlight Stage one. I had one because we had one for OG Eye Awards. Awesome. All right, we start with the. Yeah, oh, there we go. All right. Is okay, Aunt, you're the one who messed it up, not me. All right. All right. So this is actually supposed to be about original Cinderella Girls, not Starlight Stage. We'll get to that in a moment. My bad. So this is the real Cinderella Girls. We all know that. Yeah. So uh, Cinderella Girls was the first. With the exception of Daily Stars, was the first major spin-off Idolmaster thing. It was the first thing that did not focus on 765, even though the 765 girls are in OG Cinderella Girls. Um, it, it's homo by mass. Yeah. So it was released in 2011, not 2015, that's the next thing. Um, it was kind of like a free-to-play, like, Facebook-style game. It was like, a so it was like a social game. So it was kind of like Farmville, but with idols, pretty Actually, much. Actually, I do have the game on my browser. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. Oh, I have up. an account. Oh, pull it up then. Yep, let's pull it up. right now but uh the girls yell Japanese at you and you think it and you get the money into it and that's how you win. Uzuki comes out of the screen and stabs you, that's how it ends. And she says Gambari Masu and then that's the that's the game. That's that's basically it, right? Pretty much. Yeah. And there's like alcohol with like kaede and stuff and that's I love my wife. Me too. She's mine. <laughs> Anyways, um so, yeah, Cinderella, Cinderella Girls was the first uh, sub-series of Idol Master, and it's probably the most pop. It's probably the most... Okay, except for Geo Stars, but it, you know. Anyways, um, it has also, probably of any Idol franchise, has the largest roster of Idols. And there's like 185, I think they are... 186 plus 7. They just add 7 more girls. Well, one just was just... And literally, like, what, 30? Like, 50 of them are voiced, and the rest are And, like, there's, like, a bunch of other people who really want to get voiced still, and Bam goes, like, how about we just introduce new idols that are already voiced? Because we're, we hate, we'd never want to give Tokiko's eyes in a voice. Someday. Someday. But, um... I think there was like a thing, I think Cinderella Girls had a larger cast than Legend of Galactic Heroes or something like that. Yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> but it's good also why they have so many girls because it's like, you know, for the same and stuff like that, they just... Oh, is it loading up now? Okay, cool. Alright, moving on to... But like... Anyways. But it doesn't have any real game elements up until Starlight Stage. Thursday. Released, yeah, it was released in September 2015. Pretty much it was, Bamco saw how much money Bushy Road was making with Worldwide School Idol Festival and were like, we want that gotcha money. Let's make a gotcha game. And, so they went uh, down the road to Psy Games and everything. Yeah, and, I mean, well, yeah, so, and it's co-made by Psy Games, the people who make Rainbow Fantasy. We'll more on that later. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty much made as a uh, kind of like a competitor to Little Ice Galetto Festival. Um, and a um, <clears throat> personally, I hot take, because this is an Idol Master panel, but I do think it is a better made game. It is. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. 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 Y
As the rep, it definitely is a way better game. It's a way better. It's, it's way better. It is way better. First off, it has three not, until it has, until we get all stars. That's true. Yeah. But it but, has. But that's um, never coming out. But it has. Um, <laughs> But it has like three like three D models and stuff like that, and like it has like a viewing mode, so you can like watch them do the dances and stuff like that after you cleared and stuff like that. Um, it's really complicated, honestly, for a uh, mobile game and stuff like that. But also at the same time, it's very easy to access. Like this was my intro to Idol Master with this game, and personally, I um, it's kind of what led me down to this dark path of just being a filthy idol liker and spending money to go to Japan to scream at idol girls. Um, <laughs> Nothing. What? But um, it's also one of the more forgiving gacha games because it's side games, so they just give out ten pools all the time for free, pretty much. So like, you don't really need to sink much money, that much money into this, unless yeah. you're a crazy person. Like, pardon me. Unless you're Anthony. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? How much money have you spent on this now, Anthony? Uh, a little close to three thousand dollars. Oh my god. Yeah. That's it. That's easy mode. At the, mo at the moment now, this game has three temples going on, so we're going to do a little thing. Oh. One second. Choto, choto a minute. Alright. It was fine. You made it worse. <laughs> Alright. First off, first off, first off, it is my wife. I love her so much. So hang on. Alright, I already got the SSR Kaede, so I really don't care what I get on this, but we're gonna do this anyway, so. Get that rock on one. Let's go rock out! Come on. Oh, it's loading. Oh! 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 Alright, here we go. Ah! This pool sucks. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Uh, so She's cute. I wanted her, so. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. Alright, yeah, that pool sucked. Josh is whack. One second. Oh, wait, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Hang on, I just gotta pull something up because I need to show how much, how much I love Kaede. There we go. Oh wait, no, that's not the one I was looking for. Okay, never mind. You changed it. Idol Master's canceled. It was an old Kaede team. All right, cool. Yeah, so we had an image also uh, to kind of describe how the Idol Master timeline is because it can be kind of confusing knowing like what order things take place in, but thankfully we have an image here that will uh, help explain all this. <laughs> Which is, we had the original arcade, so the original arcade, and then that was adapted into the Xbox 360 game, and that's when the creator of Tekken decided that he loves Iori Minase a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Iori Minase enters the Iron Fist tournament. Oh, God. <laughs> but, are we, if we're, but however, here's where the timelines diverge. So if we get a replacement producer, producer zero dies and Dearly Stars happens, which is the best timeline, honestly, because it leads to um, Josuke Higashitata losing all of his memories and waking up in Morio, thus beginning part eight of JoJo's JoJo Leo. <laughs> However, if producer, if producer Zero quits, Dio will either form 961, thus forming, getting us uh, Jupiter, and then we will end up in the Cinderella Girls timeline, and they will, um, they will just be tele teleported to the Grand Blue Fantasy World with all the fight against monsters. Also, Mio Honda, Mio Honda gets a gun, which was the worst idea ever, honestly. <laughs> However, if Joe Char defeats Dio, Star Platinum forms 765 production, thus... 
Side M, uh. It's JoJo's. Side M is a uh, steel ball run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, also, if uh, Producer Zero mutates, uh, Pushy Moss exists. And, um, this is the best timeline because it's just that Pushy Moss is the best and they are extremely good and cute. However, that leads to everyone becoming furries and Show by Rock comes into existence. <laughs> <laughs> I can live with that. Question. Find this you gotta first find all the body parts of Jesus spread across America. <laughs> <laughs> and then you need to fight against the President of the United States with his, his stand filthy acts at a reasonable price. <laughs> right, moving on. Alright, so this is all you know. Alright, uh, CGVR, Cinderella Girls Moving the Revolution again. Uh, I got suckered into buying this game owns uh, because, we are because of this game. I also got this and it was it was it was a good decision. Stop um, it! It is the first and the only virtual reality games. Essentially, you are presented at uh, you are one of the audience members at uh, Makuhari Messe and um, Makuhari Amphitheater rather and. Um, you just watch girls dance on stage in your own little world, in class, in goggles. Listen, this game owns, because when I went to, when I went to Japan back in August, uh, we played this at a bar and just got wicked drunk. I just pulled Kaide up and I just started screaming for like a good like 20 seconds. <laughs> That's what my VR wife is. was looking at me and smiling. It was the greatest moment of my entire life. <laughs> so do it for the idols. Uh, use your PS Move to control your pen light. You can actually get one, two, three, and four pen lights. Now, additional pen lights cost money. It's hundred dollars for two, by the way. <laughs> it's um, I think six dollars for the pen lights, and you also get wrist uh, wrist straps that you can buy for or six do six additional dollars. It is available on the dollar and PSN, so you don't have to go all the way onto Japan and buy your uh, card or point cards and uh, buy the DLCs. It's Please. also worth noting that um, this game is also like you can actually buy it on the US PSN network. Yep. So it is Bamco's also, I guess, attempt to bring the Idol Master back to America, though I think this was more of just an afterthought of like, well, this is them getting money, like a lot of money, because you have to pay for individual songs for performances, and it's, yeah, but it's could, worth it. You could buy the It'd DLC, like yeah. that. you could buy the, the, the full set of DLCs for, yeah, the whole set is 160 in total, which is not so bad considering every other game costs you like two to three hundred dollars each for DLCs. Moving on no, to me. to go to a live in VR. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. F Coco Live. Mino Live is a social, <laughs> social game similar to Cinderella Girls, except it's not as popular as it would have been, but the cards are wild. Um, green this is the one that has like all the girls have guns and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're in jail for some reason. Uh, she knows what she did. Fraud. Yeah, I think I fraud. Um, we have uh, Shihaya, Mecha Shihaya, was meant to continue the spirit legacy of S65 by adding new characters. Yeah, the original game was killed off from early, early last now, year. To, to credit, uh, Mineral Life is the only Idol Master game where all 39 plus 2 girls are voiced. As in fully voiced. There isn't a million girls. It was meant. It was kind of meant as like a way to integrate uh, 765 into like a new generation while bringing in new idols also. So like it was meant to be like, hey, you old, uh, you old timer fans, you love the 765 girls. Well, how about these new girls also? And everyone's like, and all the 765 people were like, no, we don't want these new girls. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Middle Life the other day, uh, Marishita, uh, really released well, like Marishita. It's actually not a bad game. It is. I've been getting terrible rules in it. Uh, released in June. Right, I'm, doing 10 roll. Uh, I'm doing a 10 roll right now in uh, Billion Live. Yep, June 29th of 2017. I actually uh, stopped playing since the first day. Same thing as Thursday. Uh, continuing with the Thursday Rhythm game. Now, the thing about the, uh, Middle Life the other day is that it was released by Scamco themselves. So they have direct control of the franchise, whereas their state, they have side games money. They're making three billion yen. Oh, yeah, three billion yen. No, three billion dollars uh, in one quarter. Got a shitty roll. <laughs> it sucks. It's uh, extremely detailed for a free-to-play phone game. They just celebrated their uh, half anniversary, because one and a half anniversary uh, as of New Year's. And Kotaro is real. She's also the best girl. And Anna, rules. please look at my daughter. Please look at my daughter. Anna, Anna what she's doing. Matsuri is so... I love Matsuri so much. Noriko is best. <laughs> They're all good girls. Now, the other thing is, to credit, it's a good game. 
Whoa! Wait! Oh, who, whoa, said whoa, 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 who said that? Whoa! Who said that? What is wrong with you? No! The boys. The boys are back in town. Um, it was probably released in 2014. All right. So this game actually had a really weird release because it came out, I think, like early 2014. But there was a bunch of like server issues, and the game kept on crashing for people. So they're like, "No, we need to, we need to take it back to the labs." And then came out again in July. And uh, yeah, it has bo it's boys. Yeah. Woo! It's Rio is back. back. It's all messed up that they call it side M and not just the idle dadster. Because there's a lot of really good dads. There's a lot of idols in this that are good dads. Now, is too. it Walkerade or is it side M? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But uh, the major theme of side M is uh, second chances and um, having the um, the uh, jobs. Like they all have professions. Like Terra Tendo. He's a lawyer. Um, he's a drunk. lawyer. <laughs> my, my favorite group is um, there's a group called um, SEM, which yeah! so, so there's a group called SEM, which are they're all former they're a former science, English, and math teacher that stopped being teachers because they felt that like they could teach people more by being idols because people care about idols more. It's about passion. <laughs> yeah. Is this just Breaking Bad? Yes, exactly. All right, cool. It's the alternate timeline Breaking Bad. Nice. But um, they have a song that's called Study Equals Magic, which is them just rapping about how cool it is to study and stay in school. <laughs> and it is the greatest song in existence. <laughs> Live on stage. Also a rhythm game. Unfortunately, it suffers from real bad gameplay, so you have one button tap, hold, and slide. It's not that good of a game, honestly. <laughs> It's not the best game, but I think they, they had an audience, ta uh, a target audience, you can just play with one hand. <laughs> so, wow. Yes. Um, the anime is really good, just wanted to yes, Yeah, no, the anime, the anime, the anime. anime. It's so good. All right, so since we're, going, we're on, t we're pressed for time, so uh, yeah. here's our last one, which I, and this is all you. All right, uh, Idol Master, Shiny Colors. Yeah! 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 Um, I'm going to take the next slide. So, uh, Shiny Colors is also a, it's pretty much Stein's case if you haven't seen it. It's a time loop. You produce idols and let's see, I do have an account and I do have a decent account. Oh boy, account. here we go. Yeah. Definitely a problem. Tanka is the best. Go fast, I want to do my Saku, you can step on me any day of the week. <laughs> I want to do my slideshow real quick. <laughs> How old is Nana Abe? Um, Nana Abe. Is totally similar. Nana Abe is my mom. Do not be mean to her. I love her. She transcends time. She's from a different planet. And it's beautiful. Me, 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 me. Who's a me? But also the eyebrow girl. I love her too. They're all good. All of them are good girls except Miku. Except Miku. Ouch. Oh, she's a cat. She can't be an idol. She's a cat. She's a bad cat. You can be one or the other, you can't be both. All right. <clears throat> because that's so, not how it works. This is the world of Stein Skates, where the idols you produce get produced over and over again until you find the right idols. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. There's a girl in here, she's also my mom. I don't remember her name though, but she is my mom. Oh my gosh, she's so good. Sakuya? Can you pull up, um, you have, uh, no, man, um, Mami, me, 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 me. Yeah, please put my goth girlfriend on. Sure. Does she have like the angled hair? What? She has like the angle. Yeah. She's so good. I love her. Hang on, we gotta put my goth girlfriend. Yes, Sugoku. There, there she is. is. There, there she is. There she is. My mom. But, um, so the produce, but so you produce Idol to play in Fest. Um, you play fast to get more coins, buy more tickets to level up your support idols, and then you reproduce them over and over. You produce them over and over again. Not try not to use the word reproduce because that sounds extremely wrong for idols. I mean, there's dozens about that. <laughs> but I do have the gameplay for actual gameplay of this. One second. I'm broke, I can't do 10 right now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All, right. All, right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're pressed for time, so we have one last special uh, new game plus. This is where the panel starts. This is where the real panel starts. I haven't chested this, so it might go horribly wrong, by the way. Alright, what is it gonna do? It is. There we go. Hey, look, music. Oh god, change the resolution. This is bad. Sinfo gear rule! Rock Sinfo gear! Oh, that's bad. I shouldn't open this. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, uh, let me. Let me. Please change the arrangement. Yeah, rotation. I hate Mac, dude. <laughs> I can't even change the resolution. Nope, you cannot. Randall, we got six minutes. Hurry up. Okay, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, audio input, audio input, audio input, audio input. You have audio. You have audio. You have audio, you have audio Randall. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm just gonna wing it. All right. Hello? All right, welcome to the real panel. We're doing a very fast introduction to another other than Grand Blue Fantasy. <laughs> this is gonna go a lot. We're gonna go really fast here, so just keep on, just keep in. All right, so Grand, what is Grand Blue Fantasy? Grand Blue Fantasy was released in 2014 by Psy Games, who also made Cinderella, or what, I don't Star remember. Stage. The, yeah, Star, that game. Star Stage, Dara Sute. for mobile and browser. You can play it on your phone, or at home, or anywhere you want. It doesn't matter, it's, it's just a good game. It's a more accurate embodiment of visualization of hell than Doom could ever, ever do. It really is. There's like big titty demon girls. There's awesome. big t like, yeah. it's probably a spin off of whatever the hell Rage of Bahamut is. I don't, I don't know how that is. There's fun gameplay, gameplay. <laughs> you, op you like optimize a whole sh lot of skills and stats and it's really fun actually. Just check out my character in Grab Fantasy. Yeah. Check out those characters in Grab Blue Fantasy. I love Ilsa so much. Look, look at her. Look at her. I love her. Why, why are you talking about Grand Blue Fantasy? Well, hold on. First off, this um, I know. There's multiple automatic titles with both Cinderella Girls and Side M. And probably others. I don't know. So you know. There's like eight or something now, and the wiki didn't have the dates for when they started, so you just kind of have to pretend you're. I mean, I know. They made Ichinozi Shiki a snake, and that's that's crazy. That's crazy. That's insane. I just can't believe that. What does that have to do with Adam Master, though? Absolutely nothing. I just... <laughs> There's other events, like Persona 5. There's a pre cure event recently. In pre cure. They did pre cure. Watch pre cure. Pre cure is great. I'm getting there. <laughs> Trust me, we're getting there. <laughs> I didn't bring all this for nothing. <laughs> but more importantly, there was one event that stuck out to me more than any, and I hope the audio works, I swear to God. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna talk, that's right. I'm gonna, if I cry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk about love life now. In August 2018, the Love Light Sunshine Aqua Sky High event began Grand Blue Fantasy. You 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 got a pen light and you can beat up big monsters with it, and that's that's rad. That is just that's cool as hell, dude. It made me cry like a big dumb baby because Aqua has taken over my life and my wallet. And I hate it. They gave you a gun. That's 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 cool. That's sick. Like that's that's cool. Thank you, Psy Games. Look at them. Look at them in the back. They're beautiful. They're good girls. They're good girls. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Oh, they're so good. Oh, hell yeah. Boo, boo, that's yes. wild. That's my girl! Woo! That's my girl! You can still have I'm sorry. Why are we talking about the Master Panel? Oh, God, where the, oh, where's the audio? Turn, just crank it up on your, on your... I can't. Oh! oh. Why are we talking about the Master Panel? Low by Autos matter! All of them! All autos are good! It doesn't matter which one you like! They're all good! <laughs> the 765 can point of view that Ani Sama and sing each other's songs for like an hour, you can get over yourself. <laughs> you can enjoy Aqua without enjoying Muse, it doesn't matter what you like. I know hell is real, so we're all in hell together, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Love Life and Automaster doesn't matter because Ikatsu is better anyway. <laughs> But only before Akari gets there, because I don't like 
I know it's contradictory, but deal with it. Thank you for coming to Hot Master Canal, everybody. Lots of the new Coachella Shit! One more, 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 one we have for gameplay. Shining, uh, for shiny colors. We aren't done yet. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Shit. Shit, we don't have audio. Alright, go back, go back, go back, go back. DJ, run it back. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how to sing this. I'm just saying that. Alright, here we go. Soon I love you. You love me. 